or Swain's thrown at their caretaker manager role and the, the problems this week are coming to try here and obviously the pitches this morning are a little too wet you've had to alter your plans haven't you? Yeah um, obviously we've had a lot of rain overnight the, the pitches were, were quite heavy to start with as well so the, the holding water so the ground staff being the ground staff have decided that they're, they're no longer playable so we've had to change our plans a little bit this morning um, but some things are sent to test you and you've just, got to, you've just got to do the best you can in these circumstances. How will that affect your preparations? A little bit yeah, I'd planned on what I was going to do, I'd planned on, um, I'd planned on the session we were, going to, we were going to do and the, the walkthroughs and giving the players the information on what, what I see, the threats and weaknesses of, of what Brackley will bring to us. Um, that's going to have to change a little bit, so it might be a little bit more classroom based where it's talking through it rather than showing the pictures to the players. But no, it's nothing that they haven't had to deal with before or myself haven't been involved with before. But yeah, ideally we would have been on the grass pitches, but not to be. And in terms of Brackley and the, the work you've done on them, you've left most of them We'll be treating this game exactly as we would a league game, won't we? Yeah, 100%. I think you've got to, you've got to respect every opposition you play. Um, they're, they're a good National League North side, they, they've got um, strong players, they've got the, the attacking numbers, they're a threat going forward. The last um, six or seven results, they've won the majority of them. They've scored 20 odd goals in that time and not conceded many. So, on paper, they're, they're a really good side. Um, what I've seen of them, they'll, they'll, they will test us, but I'm confident we've got we've got enough in our dressing room as well to um, to impose ourselves on the game. And sometimes you've got to be careful in how much you delve into the opposition and, and lose focus on what we actually bring to the party. So, our main focus will be on ourselves, but Again, you've got to respect what, what the opposition bring. I was going to say there's got to be, I suppose, a balance between telling the players the information they need to win the game, but also saying, you know what, lads, we're a division above, we've got to go and express ourselves. 100%, yeah, and, and players are different as well. Some players like lots of information, others don't like any. Some will listen to what you tell them, some won't listen. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot of factors in that as well. Um, what I don't want to do is I don't want to bore the players. I don't want to sit there for hours and hours and saying this and that and this. You've, I just want to give them the specific key points. Um, whether they come out in the game will be another thing. They might change the formation. They could change personnel, but it's just to give them an idea. So there's no there's no real surprises. They're, they're aware of they're aware of the threats. They're they're aware of how we want to play. Um, but it's down to the players. They're they're the ones that play the game. They'll have to see how the game's going, what they need to change, what they need to keep on doing well. Um, and it's their game management in in terms of they'll win or lose as the game. It won't be it won't be the coaching staff. Um, doing the scouting reports and watching the videos, it'll be the players' performance. And that's the bottom line, isn't it? We want to get through, this is an important competition for the football club. Yeah, no pressure, yeah. Um, the financial aspect is, it, you can't hide away from it, if you can get through the early rounds, there's some there's some massive rewards for the football club. But not only that as well, there's rewards for players in, in, in drawing good ties and good stadiums and different experiences. So it's a competition that we, we won't be taking lightly. But you've got to earn the right to get through the rounds. There's there's no easy there's no easy ties in this. So I'm expecting the best Brackley side and probably better than we've seen all season with the the circumstances with their FA Cup as well. We need to match that and we need to be the best Hartlepool side that we've been all season. This competition, obviously, it's you know one that's given you good memories. You scored a, a hat trick, I think, against you over for Hartlepool and played in some giant killings for us, but also for other clubs as well. Yeah, um, scored a hat-trick against Yeovil, which was nice. Um, that was at the Vic. Played against the likes of Stoke and West Ham, um, at the, again at the Vic as well. Carlisle was a, was a good experience. We drew Everton on TV at, at Brunton Park, which was a full house. So, yeah, the experiences are there that you can actually... Um, not only can you make the club a little bit of money, but you can actually go and improve yourself and test yourself against some really top, top class players. Um, that's what we're striving to do. But again, I, we can't look any further than Brackley because they will pose as a threat. Well, that's got to act as motivation, I guess, for the players to, to be able to you know, think, if we can do the job, if we can be professional on Saturday, who knows what could open up down the line. Yeah, it, it, and from a club point of view, it's been far too long since we have had them, them cup runs and, and building the, the excitement and uh, they generating the atmosphere and the... Um, the buzz around the town that that cup runs do get, yeah. So it, again, it's it's down to it's down to the players. They they'll they'll perform if if they take on board the information that we're going to give them. If they perform with their capabilities, there's no reason why we we won't be in the hat for the next round. And you've had lots of experiences at Victoria Park over the years as a player, as a coach, all different things. But how much are you looking forward to being in that dugout in charge for the first time on Saturday? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's I can't stress enough, it's not about me, it's not about me being in charge, it's about 
it's about us trying to get through to the next round. I'm sure the, it'll be different to the older shot experience that I had, so it'll be good for my personal development. I'll have probably, or hopefully, three and a half thousand people with their their own opinions on, and they won't be shy in telling me whether whether what I'm doing is right or wrong. So no, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, it's just important that we perform well. If we perform well, then then the chances are we, we we're going to be, or hopefully, on the end of a good result as well. In terms of team news, I guess you've got some decisions to make. I mean, I know there's no players coming back from injury that are going to add to the mix, but you know you've got the luxury of a, a seven seat substitute bench this week. But also, you had some players who came off the bench and had a real impact last week at Aldershot. Yeah, hundred percent, real headache. I'm not, I, I know what I'm going to do. Um, no matter which way I go, whether you keep the same side or you change the side for the subs that had a positive impact, there's going to be some disappointed, disappointed um, fellas, really. But. That's I'm quickly learning. That's probably one of the toughest parts of a manager's job. If you've got a decent squad, which I think we have, and you've got good players within that, there can only be eleven that start the game, and there can only be there can only be the, the three subs that come on. No matter whether you've got five subs or seven subs to choose from. So yeah, I know what I know what I'm going to do. I will speak to the players that that I feel will be disappointed and deserve that little bit of respect to tell them rather than just announce it in a team meeting. Um, but it's important that they the ones that do miss out have the same positive impact as, as the lads that come on um, in the last Aldershot game because that's vital. If it's half an hour, brilliant, make it a good half an hour. If it's five minutes, make it the best five minutes that you can. And in terms of, I know you said it's not about you, but just a final question about you. In terms of downtime over the last eight or nine days, has that been just the journey to and from Stockport for the FA Youth Cup on Wednesday? Yeah, there hasn't been much downtime. Um, the lads have had a little bit of downtime which they needed after the events of last week, but I've had to, I've had to, well, watch Brackley. I've had to organise training sessions. Um, we've gone from three members of staff down to one, so that's had an impact as well. Um, Stockport in the in the FA Youth Cup, so I travelled over there with the lads, and they put in a, a brilliant performance, really good, uh, really good results. So they're through the next round, and I think as a football club, it's important that no matter what what. Um, what team it is, what age group it is, whether it's the 19s, the first team, the women's team, we need to try and get a, a winning, winning mentality and a winning culture and hopefully we all progress together and, and we, get, we get a right buzz around the club again.